And boom, there we go. All right. Okay. So, everybody. Oh, all right. Okay. <laughs> Hi. Oh, all right. All right. Okay. That looks fucking good, man. <laughs> Cheers. <Sorry. laughs> but watch this. Watch this. There's nobody watching, so I can do it. Look. Look at this. Slam. Gonna have to wait for the delay to see. Yeah. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Slam. Transitions. Slam. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that bit. That's cool. <laughs> Animated transitions. Okay. Sorry. Stop. I didn't genuinely put Newt in my tweet, by the way. So. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay. So, um, the four of you, brave adventurers, um, went into the forest, the misty forest, looking for the um, poor kidnapped children who had been whisked away by the terrible werewolves. And you hunted around the forests in vain for hours until just the conditions became too bad as a thick mist obscured vision and just crept in amongst the trees and completely obliterated the view of your surroundings. Then trying to find your way out, you came across a strange forest road that you hadn't come in on and you hadn't seen before. And those of you that are aware of this area are not familiar with. Following the road as your only course of action, you came across a formidable gate barring the way but it swung open at your approach and very conveniently closed behind you no effort needed on your part you were looking at your surroundings the mist thinner on this side of the gate you saw the thick trees impossibly close to one another just towering at the sides of the road blocking all view into their depths and the road going on to the southwest. That's when you caught the scent of death. And investigating just a short distance off the road, you found a body clawed and mauled, savaged by wolves, the werewolves you were looking for. The paw prints were very large, although they would have been small for werewolves. You found a letter from the burgomaster of a nearby town called Barovia telling of the troubles faced by his stepdaughter. Adopted daughter, sorry, excuse me. And the peril she was under, um, the attentions of a vampire. You performed last rites over this poor soul. And as you were laying him to rest, you were joined in their little forest clearing by a local. One calling himself the ruler of this area. One Strad appeared but then just as quickly disappeared off into the mists, still clinging to the trees um, at the forest side here. You carried on down the road and rounding a corner, maybe found two of the children you were looking for. You 
saw two children, a girl and a young boy, the boy weeping, holding onto a doll, the girl trying to comfort him. And as you approached them, off in the trees, you saw a tall brick house. The children pleaded with you. Please, there is a monster in our house. And baby Walter, baby Walter is still in the nursery. And they implored you to go into the house. Brave adventurers that you clearly were. And deal with the monster and save baby Walter, other kids that were trapped inside. You entered the first floor, ignored a long sword hanging on the wall, and thoroughly explored the first floor of this house. Some of the decorations not quite what they seemed, carvings on the walls seeming to hide wolves peering around the trees. Speaking of wolves, one of you got quite the shock as you entered a room to be confronted suddenly by wolves, only to find they were taxidermied and quite harmless. Our feathered friend took flight and flew up the center of the stairwell to the second floor, seeing there suits of armor on a hallway and down the end, another fireplace matching that on the first floor and a large painting hanging above it, although not particularly clear at this distance. He decided to get fetch the others before venturing further on his own and drifted back down to the first floor, which is where we find everybody. I drew the house, by the way. Oh, let's see, let's see. I just drew it while you were <laughs> doing that. I will add more and make it creepier. Excellent. Creepier the better. Creep it up. All of us jumping out the windows. <laughs> I will draw us running away from it. Uh, okay. So, let us travel back to this house. So we're heading up the stairs. Mm-hmm. Now, let's bring you our online folks to the same spot. There we go. Um, now, I should change the uh, sounds as well. Over here, let's get back into the house. Again. Although I do love this music. Oh. Okay. So, please, do as you would like to do. Unfortunately, I can't see a single thing on the map. It's the same as last week. So I can't do anything. Just assume I'm with Steph's character, with Sara. Hang on, hang on. We like need to be. figure this out here. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. This is not cool. I'm, I'm, okay, I'm yep, you're definitely me. you're definitely in control. I can see my like I can see my own token and mm -hmm. around my square everything is black. Um that's it. Um, Let's see. Now. Dynamic lighting. You have, the same as it was you have vision. You have night vision. I wonder if it's just night vision. Whoa. <laughs> say, say again, Colby. He's going to go grab headphones. I don't know why we have an echo because we're both on push to talk. So it's not either of the speakers. It's Okay, what I might do is I might watch through the stream mm -hmm. the video. Yeah, that's 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 the option, there, the isn't it? Screen, sorry. Yeah, you can. <laughs> yeah, you can see. Oh, yeah, it's exactly the same. I reloaded, but I can see myself. Hmm. Well, um, 
I can we? move myself, but everything is black. I don't even know how they get back to where I was. Was I there? Yeah. Advanced. It's just dark. Has sights, but shouldn't need to put that on. Has that helped? No. I can see it on the stream. Yeah. No, it's black. Hmm. All just black. How strange. But I can see my. I can see on the stream just about. Okay, I think I've got visual on the stream. Yeah. So I might be a bit behind, but. I'm yeah, it's just a best. tiny. It's, it's, a, it's a pretty short leg, so it should be good. But you said everything up there is fine, Craig. Has he come back? <laughs> uh, I just, just realised that when I looked at his cameras. If you full screen that, Emma, is, is that, is that good? Left? For your, if you full screen the, the the stream, is that okay? Um, I've got it. I've got a, I've got something figured out. If I full full screen it, then my computer is going to crash. It okay. just does that. So I'm going to just zoom in. Okay. Just, gotcha. Yeah. Um, is there anywhere down there, down here, that looks unexplored so far? Pretty sure we explored everywhere downstairs. The only way is up. Yeah, you didn't find any other doors um, than uh, what you've already seen. I'm going to start walking up the stairs. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's, that's but, um, sorry, everyone, if you want to if you want to send me a message for anything, um, do it um, on uh, on the uh, message group, not on Discord, because I, I have to have Discord full screen for um, the stream. Okay, so... You are going to head up the stairs. What's yeah. the uh, yeah? What's our marching order? The uh, are you going to are you going to fly up the middle, Craig? I'll go behind Zenicus. I'm assuming that's and I'll go last. Uh huh. So you can put you there. And yeah, Craig, are you going to fly up the middle? He nodded. I'm oh, sorry, I can't see if I'm. He's, he's still fixing his audio. Gotcha. Right. Okay. So yeah, as you um, as you climb the stairs, I will bring you over to the right. If um, let me drag you over for a second. So everyone, stay still. Oh, uh, I wanted to say to everyone actually, could you please, um, if you're moving your token, please use your cursor keys, the arrow keys, because um, if you if you drag with the mouse, it will it will go through walls and show stuff that's not supposed to be visible. I want to go through a wall. No. All the lizard people. No, stop it. Um, Walls are meant to be <laughs> They're a Kool-Aid guy. Oh, yeah. Which I only know from Family Guy. Yeah, I've never... <laughs> I've never seen the actual, yeah, the actual commercials. Um, okay, so you make your way up the stairs, and if you'll stay still for a moment, I shall drag you across to the second floor, kicking and screaming. Can you guys hear me now? Yes. There we go. The lady. And you. Okay, there we go. You are up there on the second floor. So as you all climb the stairs, you see what Krig saw. Um, a moment again. Unlit oil lamps mounted on the walls of this elegant hall. Hanging above the mantelpiece on the far wall is a wood-framed portrait of a family, it seems, as a number of figures gathered together. Um, then to the left and right, flanking double doors, you see suits of armour. And each suit clutches a spear and has a visored helm shaped like a wolf's head. You can see not any detail from this distance, but you can see that the, the doors are carved with details. I would like to investigate the carvings on the doors. Certainly. Because um, I saw some weird shit on the walls, <laughs> I remember, and I want to see if it's consistent. So kind of over here? Um, let's check the stream. I want. I'm looking at like north, north or south. The doors to the right. 
to your not right. To the left. Okay. So that, not, not those ones. The other ones. The the single door. <laughs> there's a single door. There's the one. There's a single door right at the top of the stairs, and then double doors to the top and the bottom of the room. Interesting. Um. As we're looking at. Yeah, it. single door first. Okay. I'm going towards the. Two. I don't think that's anything good. Oh, it's okay. Just just com coming up close and looking at them properly is enough. It's okay. Okay. Um, this single door um, is is not carved as nicely as the other ones. It seems a bit plainer, a bit more, uh, a bit more fun ugly. functional. Yes, you want to try that? I put my ear to it. Mm -hmm. Do I hear anything? Give me a perception check, please. Be better than a two. It was an eight. That is objectively better than a two. Better than a two. Yeah, plus, as, re as I don't know, No, no, I need to put my plus on it. That's Because right. the character sheet is not loading because my iPad just died. Oh, no. Hang on. Hang on. I'm having great time. Yeah. I'm having okay. great time. Use the Twitch overlay. I'm done, done. I've already got... Here I am. Once hey, guys. Again. Guys, guys. Oh, do you want to be famous? We can we can buy viewers. We can buy followers. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Right. What? That's rude. <laughs> what? I'm not going to I'll be we'll famous see. on my own time, thank you. For my 14. own merits. Sorry, I'm, I'm just... 14 on my perception. Being salty Sorry. with the bot. <laughs> um, okay, so... We, um, yes. You do not hear anything from beyond the door. Sure, I'll open it. Sure, you will open it. Okay, so you swing it open. Yeah. Can you see on the on the stream there? You see a an undecorated bedroom with a pair of beds on the north side, and at the foot of each bed there is a foot locker, and there is a a little door. Looks like a closet door immediately to your left. As you, as you look through that. Terrified of the closet, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna rip the door open. I'm gonna rip the closet door open and have a look at what's inside. Okay, doc. Like you're doing that, while Zenek is just looking at this helmet. Like this is an exquisite craft. <laughs> I found a bedroom in here. Oh, thank you for what the host. I... Name is Dragon Cat. Woo! You got hosted. Okay. Woo. So. Um, yeah, so you are you going to are you going to go into the bedroom or are you going to look in the closet? Yes, I'm, the closet's in the bedroom. I thought. Uh, yeah, there's if you see on the on the stream, just immediately on the left as you go I'm through looking, the door. Yeah, I'm looking at the stream. Yep, so mm -hmm. I'm in the bedroom and looking okay. in the closet first. Gotcha. So yes, you step um, you step forward, and now are we like full on like just you know plaster ripping off the plaster with this one or are we just Cracking it open just a little bit. John? Yes. I already said that I rip open that door. <laughs> no DM or foreshadowing is going to stop me now. <laughs> me and okay. my nine hit points can look after it. The deed is done. <laughs> Are you sure? Are you sure? I will do the same. Right, you know what? I approach the first door with caution. I'll do the same with this. I will listen at the door and see if I can hear anything. Okay. Um, I'm going to carry over your perception check from before. Oh, well, I did roll again. But okay. Again, oh, please, please. Better. 22. Okay. You hear... I do hear. ...a clothy silence. <laughs> Which is an adjective I'm using now. Why on earth was that the most ominous? <laughs> I... That is ridiculous, but I know exactly what that sound right, is. Right, right. You see, it just... It came to, it. Yeah, it, just, it came to mind for some it. reason. <laughs> <laughs> so... As you pull open the door, yeah. you are confronted with tasteful robes, cloth and silence, tidy servants, Food. tidy servants uniforms hanging from hooks, <gasps> butcher's hooks, no, just hooks. <laughs> tiny, tidy servers hanging from hooks. <laughs> yeah, they're very, very trim. <laughs> nope. Yep, servants, servants uniforms. Hanging from these from these clothing hooks. <laughs> okay. Nothing else. Immediately visible. 
Okay, then what I'll do is I'll say to the others, if anybody's interested in exploring this room further, I'm going to have a go at it. You do... You do notice something, actually, now that having stepped into the room properly that you couldn't see from the doorway before. Back to your right. Mm. I don't know if you can see properly, but there, there is a tiny little door. Oh, of course I'm In the that. wall, which um, reminds you of a similar door in the kitchen below where you must be. I also found the exit slash entrance of the dumbwaiter. Mm-hmm. There is a little button next to it on the wall. John. Yes. Stop doing this to me. <laughs> well, I'm just. I'm. Stop doing this to me. I want to give you the full um, the full picture. What was the problem? We didn't use the dumb waiter anything before, did we? Because it wasn't opening. So. Well, we no, we didn't. Go we it up, down. So we can look it. Interesting. We sent it up so that we could look to see if there was a doubt. Mm-hmm. Okay. And it did not go below where you were. But perhaps it goes above. Maybe. There are more floors to the house. I open the dumb waiter. Okay. You open up that door. And you do see the shaft leading down. And you do... There's no, there, was no, there was no torches or anything lit... Um, on the first floor, so you you don't see light spilling into the dumbwaiter because you didn't close it for before. So, but you are aware of a slight kind of shading of the darkness. There is, you know, there is a slight difference. You do, you can, you are aware of it being open down there. And I mean, with your night vision, yeah, you can see that. Pull my head back out. Okay, look. Shik. No. <laughs> One part number down. <laughs> Me and my 9 HP having a great time. Um, I pull back out and then I will close the. C- You're closing this one? Okay. So, yeah, let's close back up. One investigation check. I just want to check the pockets of the servants' uniforms. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Just uh, neatly laundered uniforms just hanging there, I'm afraid. Nothing. All right, then I'm going to go back outside and see um, if anybody's going in here. Asara, what are you doing? I, as Santa is doing that, I'm going to open up the double doors that are on the top. Hmm. Okay, so head on over. As you head on over there and come up to these doors, you see the carvings uh, more clearly. And um, the the doors are carved with dancing youths. Ominous. Looks like having a, of a whale of a time. Um, now, as you as you actually come even closer still to actually open the doors, um, you do actually notice that the youths aren't really dancing, but they're actually, and the craftsmanship is quite fantastic. They're, they're on fire. They're fighting off exactly. swarms of bats. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, who carves that onto a door? That's not a dab, that's a karate chop. <laughs> <laughs> that's not a dab, that's Mai Tai boxing. <laughs> no jokes, it looks like you're dabbing. I had a lot of fun with my instructor joking about that. He didn't appreciate it as much as I did. Oh. Yeah, look what you've done now, Asara. I'm gonna. <laughs> Ominous music begins. <laughs> I don't like this. So, are you going to open those doors, Azara? Zenicus and be like, this isn't Werewolf's house. And like, gesture to the bats. As, like, I should do that. As I'm examining the helm. Yeah. Because of the werewolf thing, I just turn it around to face her. <laughs> of the wolf helm and the suit of armor. Shit. Yes, I, I, I'm not sure I agree with you. Can I open like the visor? Sure. Is it just like on a stand? Mm-hmm. Within, like inside, like is it just in a stand? Um. Or yes. Like, yeah. Yeah. There's. Like, there's. Oh. There is. Yeah. Some. Some form of support inside. Um. Which. Okay. Sorry. Which one are. You, which one are you looking at? I should. The one I'm right at. That one. That first one there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. It's fine. Does the helmet come off? 
the helmet. Um, I mean, do you try and lift it off? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep, you managed to lift it off, no problem. It's up, it's all inside. It doesn't look t like supremely functional. It's quite decorative. That's all, all I want is for decoration. <laughs> you fool. You've activated my stand, hungry like the wolf. Uh, <laughs> and I will tie that like to like something on my like my bag or something. Sure. So that I keep a track of that. Okay, look. Like, and he turns to Asara and is like, So are you going to open the door? At this point I'll probably come out and just say, There's two locked boxes in there as well. Why that I don't really have interest in going into. It's very presumptuous. <laughs> assuming they're locked. Banter, we're not being we're we're trying to be quiet right now. Okay. He says at a normal volume. <laughs> so yes, she's the quietest. I'm gonna crack open the door. Okay, doke. I'm being, I'm being stealthy. Okay. So yeah, you open that door. Let me do that for you there. Ready? Boop. And beyond the door, you see. Red velvet drapes cover the windows of this room. An exquisite mahogany desk and a matching high back chair face the doorway. And a fireplace, above which hangs a framed picture of a windmill perched atop a rocky crag. Situated in corners of the room are two overstuffed chairs that you can see on the left side there and floor to ceiling bookshelves line the south wall <gasps> and a rolling wooden ladder allows one to more easily reach the high shelves I am definitely investigating the bookcase okay I'm going to investigate the desk okay so you're, you're leaving those footlockers there um, oh fuck, I don't care about the footlockers. Not yet. <laughs> I know okay. they're there. Okay. Um, Krik, you've been uh, hovering in the stairwell for, for a while now. Yeah, I'm just kind of keeping an eye on everyone and <laughs> like kind of periodically like dipping back down to like look like, okay, it's, it's cool. And, <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, I'm going to take a peek at those southern double double doors. Okay, look. So yeah, do you want to head on over there? Yeah. Are you just, are you gonna open those up? Um, I'm gonna like I'm gonna listen at them. Okay, give me a perception check, please. Collecting wolf, wolf paraphernalia. <laughs> I got my pendant in the first. Try and get the full set that I got from the random from the random table. Now I've got a, a helmet that looks like a wolf. Like that sounds so much more heinous than memorabilia, like paraphernalia. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? <laughs> How was that perception there, Krieg? That was an eight. Okay. You don't hear anything. Zenicus is right behind you. Just, just open the door, Craig. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. And I'll, like, crack it really open a little bit and take a peek. Okay, look. Where are the famous monster hunters? <laughs> you open the door. And. Am I right in. Think, do you have dark vision? Night vision? Um, I gave it to the house. That's yeah. Fine. But it's only it's only for was it only, it's for only an hour? Ten minutes actually, so mm -hmm. I don't think it would. Right. Ten minutes probably passed. Yeah, been way longer than that. Yes. So yeah, Craig. Actually, as you, as you go to the door and you you put your hand against it and listen, everything just goes black. Nice. You can still hear your friends moving behind you. But you can't see anything. Just open the door. Oh shit! 
Xenicus, I can't see! <laughs> open I'm your... definitely gonna peep out of the door and be like, Y'all are being so loud! I'm also gonna go back into the servants' room and check those lockboxes, John, because I, I cannot resist. Okay. Um, I said I wanted to do it, but I will Ransom, no! Open your eyes, Craig. <laughs> no wonder you can't see. You've got your eyes um, closed. <laughs> Covering your eyes. So, first things first. Alright. Yeah. <laughs> Asara. Yes. You, poring over these bookshelves for a, a time whilst your friends clutter around outside, find that they are covering a range of topics, including history, warfare, alchemy. Um, there's a few shelves containing first edition collected works of poetry and fiction. Are you um, are you searching further up the shelves? Are you going through the whole lot, or just in the doorway there? I'm definitely going up the ladder. Okay. Like, are you going? The, are you going like, up into that top corner? Feel myself like Bell and like go down. The can you see? Can you see? You can see where the ladder is, right? It's just on that that section. Oh, maybe I can. Just to your top right. There's, it's up against the shelf there. Yeah, see, there. Yeah. Do the bell thing, but the ladder smashes up the end of the wall. Like, you're <laughs> for being filthy. Yeah, yeah so much. Oh. <laughs> okay. okay. And as you as you put your dainty elven foot on the first rung of the ladder, Vanta. Hi. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do the thing. I know I shouldn't, you but pad, I'm doing it anyway. You pad Hi. back into the servants' room and go to the yeah. footlockers. Yeah. Kneeling, I will kneeling collapse down. my yes. knees in front mm -hmm. of them. And I will just Wait, let my hands play. And sort of like reach over to the left one and pull back and reach over to the right one and think again. And then I will pull both into the centre in front of me. Okay. These characters were fun. And I'll put my hands on them. Yes. And then I'll say... Wait a second. <clears throat> Is this a good idea? It really doesn't seem like a good idea. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I thought this would be sort of, you know, bring me closer to my quest, but mm, what do you think? I'm talking to my spy master. Okay. Um, it seems it's like a servant's room, is it? Probably nothing, nothing, nothing of much value. Okay, right, I'm doing it. Both of them open. Okay. If I can at the same time. If sure. I leave them a lot, that'll yeah, be so fun. So just like, and just like lift them up and open them up and they're empty. Can't <laughs> Check under the beds and then I'll get out. Dramatic. Was that music deliberate? Okay, yeah. Well, <laughs> no. <laughs> Because suddenly, as soon as you went, and they're empty, they're, they're, they're <laughs> the organ like a huge minor chord. I just, I just yeah. heard the, I heard the, I heard the first song stop. So I was just like, wait for it, wait for it. They're empty. Okay. <laughs> I will. I want to just like peek under the beds, and then I'll get out of there. Okay. Oh, I'm having a discussion with Craig about how. Give me a, give me a perception check. Um, sixteen. I'm afraid there is nothing to be found in this Fine. Outside and head simple to, room. I will head to um what's it? I'll head to Asara. Okay. And on the way look over to Xenicus and Craig, Craig and just be and just say Do you need perhaps more vision? Vanta, yes, please. Zedekus seems to think that I have my eyes closed. I just are his eyes open? <laughs> yes. Um, Krig, you feel. Um, 
you feel what must be um, Xenicus's reassuring hand on your shoulder. Um, Xenicus, you're looking at the painting above the uh, fireplace. I am? You had moved in that direction. Yeah, I was moving towards Chris. I will place my hands on Kree's eyes mm -hmm. and just clasp around the sides of his head and just say, let the queen see for you. She has so much to show. Kree, can you give me an insight check? A 12? The hand on your shoulder was very strange. Just the the angle of it, and and it as as Vanta put her hands over your eyes, you felt it slip off your shoulder. But it went it went in the direction of the suit of armor, not in Xenicus's direction. Are his eyes open? Is it? Uh, yeah. Is it? Oh, his eyes are open. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> my eyes are enormous. Yeah, that's and why they I'm... are open. Big bird man. So yes, you okay. cast you casting that spell. Is that, is that done? <laughs> yes, I am. I've done. I will do eyes uh, with my with the words I just said. Mm -hmm. Thank you. you have so eyes yeah, you... of the night. And I'm just going to give it to everyone because I can, even though they already have dark things. <laughs> I'm just glad at least one person doesn't, so I can do this. And it, means, <laughs> it all worth it. Okay, you. Um... You're welcome. <laughs> so, did okay. That was weird. <laughs> did you see anything? You you guys were standing right here. I know you can see. What... Yes, we can see. What do you mean? <laughs> Please explain yourself, Craig. You're sounding delusional. Okay. So, something touched me, yeah, and fans are just hands over your eyes. Okay, yes, but something else. Did we see anything? No. I'm guessing that as well. Yeah. Nothing something else. Animal. It's Good. fine. It's you... fine. Whatever. You, you can see again. Yes, I'm gonna get like really close to Xenicus's face and like, yes. I mean, you're really tall, so. I, <laughs> I would like to touch the door that he's touching. Mm -hmm. I just want to brush it with my finger and see if the same thing happens. You're touching the door, sorry. Yeah, where where um. Krieg is. Yeah. Krieg. Okay. Krieg was there. Yeah, you don't see. You see. You see the same. The same carvings that you saw on the library door, the uh, the children at first who appear to be dancing but are actually fighting off bats. I am disinterested. And I go and I look in the, the study now. Asara, as you hear yes. Vanta start coming back towards you and come through the doors into the library. Um, well, I've heard them all this whole freaking time. So yep. loud and out of the room. <laughs> As you um, as you climb up the ladder, there you see um, on a on a higher shelf. As you climb up, there's there's one book with that uh, with that perception check you did before that stands out more than the others. In that, it's a red bound book, a red covered book, but. It stands out and catches your eye as you're scanning along the shelf because the spine of the book is blank. There's nothing written on it, whereas everything else has a title. I'm going to pull on it first and see if I can feel any, like, um, res like not movingness, like any tension. And then when I'm sure that it's not like connected to anything that's gonna get me, I'm gonna take it down and open it. Give it. I'm giving it a cursory glance. Yep. So you pull, you pull on the on the book. Yep. Okay. As you do, 
the bookcase below and to your left creaks open. I'm going to crawl down off the ladder. I'm going to peek in there. Okay. You climb down from the ladder and look through. And you see hidden behind this bookcase another smaller room with bookshelves more bookshelves packed I was about to say another bookcase but I was like don't be an ass Stephanie but it is it's another bookcase yeah <laughs> but these, are the real books, these, these are packed with tomes of a more sinister yes. nature Mm -hmm. Would you like to go and check? Oh yeah, I'm definitely going to go check. Um, would that be Arcana or... Hmm? Are you going to go into the room? Yeah, I'm going into the room. I'm okay. going to go, I'm going to look at these. I'm going to examine them. Head on in. Uh, my direction keys don't want to let me. There we go. Okay. So you can see what you can see? Yes, I can. And yes, you come into the room. And as you look, you're looking at the bookshelves as you first come round the corner of this secret doorway. But at the far end of the room, you see a heavy wooden chest with mm. clawed iron feet standing against the far wall. It's like lid. A rat or a skeleton? Its lid is half closed, and sticking out of the chest is a skeleton in leather armor. Oh my god! And Shit, no, don't go. <laughs> as you do so, the bookcase clicks shut behind you. I can say, I'm guessing we heard that as the bookcase closes, um, like opens and closes. It wasn't a big grating noise. It was there was noise, but it wasn't it wasn't huge. I think I think I think you you three have been quite chatty out there. <laughs> I am just in. Oh my god! <laughs> yes, Fanta, Yes, you you had said you were walking back. Yes. <laughs> Like, well, I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna turn okay. around. Well, my original goal was to head straight for the straight. Yeah. Yeah. Try, try not to talk over each other. Um. So yes, Vanta, you, you head back into the library, and you can't see head nor tail of uh, Asara. Yeah, no, I wasn't looking for her. I'm gonna go to the, the desk. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You just, just assuming that I think that bookcase here you know, is between. Between the desk and that corner is quite high. It's, that's another kind of very high high bookcase. So yeah, you just assume she's in the sacks somewhere, yeah. and you head on over to the desk. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, you see, well, on, first resting on top of the desk, there is an oil lamp, a jar of ink, a quill pen, and a tinder box, and a letter kit with a red wax candle for sealing, and four blank sheets of parchment. I take. The seal, if the seal is there, is a wooden seal which has the what you assume must be the family's insignia, and you glance at the portrait above the fireplace. It is a very similar-looking windmill. Okay, now I had a couple of questions. Have there ever, have there been any people in any of these portraits? The one back in the main hallway by um, Zenicus has people in. Yes. But we have, nobody's looks at it probably yet. No, I wanted to. If there's nothing of interest in the study, in the, in the study, in the desk. I mean, are you just looking at the top? Are you investigating no, no, I further? Mm -hmm. I do have a question about the portraits, though. I feel like we're being followed through the portraits, but I want to confirm that. Can you give me a, uh, a perception check? No, I can't. It's a two plus six. Okay. Eight. You don't find any hidden things, but there is an old 
iron key resting okay, in one of the drawers. Mm. I'll take it. Okay. And then I will ask Asara. Have you found any boxes that need unlocking behind there? Can I hear her? Probably not. There's two big bookcases in between. Um I don't I mean this is it's not airtight or anything, so I think I think you can you can hear you you hear her voice. It's very it is muffled, but you can hear it. Okay. When the bookcase closed shut, I definitely went like, ah oh, shit. <laughs> and like started like I leaned back and I like kind of kicked the bookcase, not to like bust it open because I don't want to make a lot of noise, but to be like, hey y'all, I'm in here, like knocking on it. Fanta, with you, my foot. you hear a thudding from that top right corner. I'm gonna go see what it is, and mm -hmm. on, I'm gonna peek out to see what the what Zenicus and Krieg are doing okay. on the way. And if they're looking my way, I'm gonna motion them inside. Zenicus, what are you doing? Cool. Uh, I, as I said, like after like the discussion we had with the and eyes, the seeing and stuff, as yep. we seem to be able to see again, I was I said I was going to open the door. Okay. So yeah, as this has been happening, as as uh, Vant has been looking through the desk, you open this southern door. Boop. And you see a quite a large room beyond it. And this is what meets your eyes. There are gossamer drapes covering the windows of this elegantly appointed hall, which has a brass-plated chandelier hanging from the ceiling. Upholstered chairs line the walls, as you can see, and stained glass wall hangings depict beautiful men, women, and children singing and playing instruments. In that bottom left corner there, there's a harpsichord with a bench resting. And near a fireplace on the right wall there, as we look at it, there is a large standing harp. That's what this is, this item here. Alabaster figurines of well-dressed dancers adorn the mantelpiece above the fireplace. Is there any picture above the fireplace, or just the Not figures? Not in this one, no, the, but there are these alabaster figurines. Interesting. Um, seems to be empty, other than it. these strange figurines, and they all kind of go over towards them. Okay. As you do, closer inspection reveals that several of them are carvings of very well-dressed skeletons. <laughs> <I'm> a macabre. <laughs> are you going to start heading back? He doesn't want to touch the music because we're trying to be quiet. Yeah, this seems boring. I'm not sh I can't play any of these instruments, so... <laughs> I don't think we should, I'm sure Astara will be upset with us. <laughs> Start to head back out. Okay, look. See that picture on the way out. So you're gonna have a look at the um yeah, look at the one over the fireplace in the main hall? Yeah. I am gonna go into the study. Okay. So yeah, Krieg passes behind you as you stop to look at that portrait and follows behind and into the library. Um, Krieg, there's no sign of Asara. Is, are you sure she'd gone in this way? You heard her going this way ahead of Vanta. Asara is missing. I think she might be behind the bookcase. I'm this oh, on that God. bookcase. Can I hear them? <laughs> are they like Again, right yeah, up? Are you guys yeah. right up like the bookcase? Yeah, pretty, much, pretty close. Yeah, um, she can't see you guys. <laughs> I am in the bookcase. Get me out of here. You hear a, uh, an urgent whisper. <laughs> How on earth did you get in there? Red book. You have to go up the ladder. Fly up there, Craig. I don't. And I'll <laughs> float up whoosh. to the top of the ladder. And... 
I think I think you had to, you are actually gonna have to climb. I think it's too it's too cramped to actually use your wings. Okay, we, we, we've got to be careful here. You, I think I think I was being too generous back in the forest as well. It was too overgrown to actually be flying around. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. And yeah, the, uh, looking at those rows of bookshelves, like yeah, it. it that's unreasonable <laughs> so i'll like very uncomfortably like like wrap my bird feet around these rungs of this ladder and climb up to the top and like kind of look around for this red book you see it as you as you get up there okay i'm like okay i think this is the one and i'll tug on it mm-hmm and uh, yes, as you do, um, once more. The bookcase, Vanta, you have to shift out the way quickly as the bookcase kind of swings towards you. And you see a slightly flustered looking Asara behind and another couple of smaller bookshelves and then this chest and a skeleton down the far end. Hey guys, I found an evil cupboard. <laughs> Xenicus. We it's, found something. Could be worse, you could have found a gazebo. <gasps> <laughs> Not the gazebo. <gasps> the infamous <laughs> gazebo. Yes, thank you. Sorry. Um Xenicus, as you um approach that fireplace and look up at the art hanging there, it's as I said, it seems like it's a family um portrait. And so, yeah. The kids? As you look at it in more detail, indeed, yes, um, you see this wood-framed portrait, and you see a label on the bottom that says the Durst family, and you see a father and a mother, kind of aged adults, with two smiling children who you recognize as the girl and boy from outside. And cradled in the father's arms is a swaddled baby. Silo which <laughs> you notice the mother in the painting is regarding with a hint of scorn. Hmm. And I probably painted that in. Incredibly unusual. I guess this is why I've left the little child behind. But and he turns around and realizes that Craig is gone. He thought he was talking to Craig. <laughs> um, now, as I as as I move towards the the library to catch up with everyone else, I'm keeping an eye. Like, I'm still looking at that picture, just trying to kind of get their their kind of the the faces of the mother and the father and stuff into my head as well. Is it one of those creepy paintings where the eyes follow them? <laughs> um, in a natural way, yes. <laughs> yeah, in, in the way you would expect. As in, they don't it's snap, a, they don't snap back when you look at them. <laughs> yeah, just gonna watch it. Just gonna head into the library. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Find them scrabbling at a bookcase, I'm guessing. <laughs> um, so yeah, you see, um, and actually, as as the, the others of you had been up there, um, in the um, in the library, um, you again you saw this this bookcase try to start to close itself again. So do, do you just block it? I'm just gonna stick my leg out. <laughs> okay, it doesn't it doesn't take much effort. You do manage to stop it this time. It's just because it was it was uh, you know. Um, Left, left, just to swing freely. Undeterred, before. yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sorry, I need to actually open that up for you again, don't I? Excuse me. I'm still in the box. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so, would you like to have a closer look, Hasara, now that you are uh, not trapped? I'm going to check these out. Would it be a investigation or arcana? Um, are you looking at the bookcases? Yes. Okay. You find that these shelves are packed with tomes describing fiend summoning rituals. 
and also the necromantic rituals of a cult called the Priests of Osiris. Plot. Okay, so fiend summoning rituals and necromantic rituals. But you think if you're going to glean any more information from them, it would take a decent while of study to actually look through them. Okay. Um, can I, would I know if they're worth anything? Mm, not straight off the bat. No, you would, you would, again, you'd have to properly discern their contents. Can I have a look in the bookshops? Absolutely. Histories of the place we're in, religion. That's the kind of thing I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. I don't mind doing whichever chick. Um, um, uh, give me, give me a, a perception check, please. Or mm, actually, no, an investigation. Investigation. An investigation. Yes. Yeah. Hang on. Let me get my to sheet on my computer. Nineteen. <laughs> Very good. Eh? Hang on. Let me check that. I think my perception is. Missing. Sorry, my computer. All my devices are dying, so I have to improvise. <laughs> my iPad isn't charging. Because the real charge is in the other room. Ugh. Investigation, yeah, is um, plus two, actually, so 21. Six is my perception. Okay, yuck. Um, You. Yeah, as, as I said before, you do find, yeah, the various tomes. You know, in various various volumes um, with with information, but you you think it would take quite a while to actually properly research through. I mean, yeah, no, I'm just gonna grab take grab them. on for later. Yeah. No, yeah, wait! Gonna... I wanted to take them. <laughs> you can you can have the necromantic yeah. ones. Do you... Oh no, that I was kind of thinking about the religion would be like a necromancy because that's kind of my vibe of like Raven Queen immortality. I need to find the undying person in my vision. That's kind of what I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. like, All right, well, we can split them, but I want half. I know a book lady. <laughs> well, Asara, if you consider the fact that we're traveling together trapped in this place, our carrying capacity is more important than who owns which book. I don't because care who carries it. I want half the books. I don't intend to keep them. You can have them all. Sweet. And I'll start putting... Sorry. No. Continue. And I'm going to keep looking. Sweet. And then I'll start putting books in my bag as much as I can carry. I'm, while I am enjoying this interaction between the two of you, are we not going to deal with the skeleton and the box at the end of the room <laughs> seems quite redundant he's already dead I could perform rites I was like oh, okay and he kind of like head goes back and <laughs> back out of the room I feel like my reaction would just be like spooky place we found a dead guy surprise hmm? <laughs> so like, there's nothing up here the child must be in the basement, the base, the entrance to the basement must be from outside. Um, sorry, this is this is my my bad and not just and I mean it's it's on the map, but um, it's it's not immediately obvious. Um, the the stairs do continue up. Ah, okay. A, oh, okay, cool. The main the main staircase. Sorry. Okay, then yes, he would say that we should continue searching upstairs. Mm -hmm. So, okay. Asara, yeah, you're just gonna leave leave that guy to his uh, unfortunate demise. I don't think I would well, actually, because I didn't examine the painting with all the skeletons that are dressed up, so I don't think I would actually investigate it in, like, I would be like, oh yeah, dead guy, spooky place, vampires, and werewolves. Mm -hmm. Yeah, skeleton. I mean, it is, you know, it's his hanging out of a chest. Oh yeah, I'm going to examine the chest. Let me go back. <laughs> there is that. It wasn't just a. It wasn't just a skeleton collapsed on the floor. Right, right. That's fair. I'm gonna definitely yeah, examine it. The benefits of trying to get at is like the skeleton hanging out of the chest. No, <laughs> right. And everyone's like, shoot, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
Um, I'm gonna be like, ugh. Okay, so yeah, as you as you kind of re look over the skeletons, um, you know, bony form, you you realize what's happened here um, on closer inspection. Um, the humanoid that was wearing this armor triggered a poison dart trap. Oh. The like you've seen before. Oh. And there are three darts stuck in the dead adventurer's armor and rib cage. Although it does seem that the mechanism is no longer a threat. Okay, cool. I was like, can I see which direction it came from? <laughs> um, it was it looks like it was it was on this chest. Content will be trapped. Well, I was convinced that was a mimic because I was like, oh, he's half eaten. <laughs> yeah. I, it was the, I, the description of the clawed feet didn't help either. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, um, like, so, yeah, you're gonna you're gonna lift up the lid. Yeah, I'm gonna lift up the lid and then mm -hmm. take the guy like by the scruff of his collarbone, I guess. It's okay. As like, as you oh. do, as you lift the lid and kind of release that um, hold on it, the 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 armor slides out onto the floor and the bones, you know, no longer holding their form, just you know, roll out. Some of them roll out of the armor and it kind becomes a My uh, God. a museum creator's nightmare. Um. But you do see as it pivots up, as you know, as, it, as the pressure is taken off and it pivots up out of the chest, um, held in the skeleton's left hand is a letter. Thank you. Do you look at it? Read it. Yeah. Okay. So you yes, you grab you grab the letter and it says in a flowing script my most pathetic servant i am not a messiah sent to you by the dark powers of this land i have not come to lead you on a path to immortality however sorry however many souls you have bled on your hidden altar however many visitors you have tortured in your dungeon Know that you are not the ones who brought me to this beautiful land. You are but worms writhing in my earth. You say that you are cursed, your fortune spent. You abandoned love for madness, took solace in the bosom of another woman, and sired a stillborn son. Cursed by darkness? Of that I have no doubt. Save you from your wretchedness? I think not. I much prefer you as you are. Your dread lord and master, Strad von Zarevich. Fuck yeah. Everybody in this house is already dead. We're going looking for a corpse. <laughs> do, 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 corpse party. Go for it. That's great. Cool. Hey, those are good games. <laughs> here's, the, here's the letter. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. All right. I have I'm, I have a theory, and I'm pretty sure I'm I, I'm pretty sure I got. I think I know what's going on here. I'm gonna say, is Sarah read this letter to, out loud, or is she just reading it silently? I definitely read it to myself, and um, oh. after I finish reading, I'm gonna be like, "Tough shit," and um, like put the letter in my back pocket and kind of mumble to myself, like, "Is it a lover?" Or is it a servant? The baby's dead. And my gears are turning as I'm like looking in the rest of this. Zedicus, you, you hear... Oh, sorry, I'm, sorry. I'm going to say you're kind of like saying that to yourself, thinking out loud. And, and Zedicus, what do you, what do your elf ears hear? No, um, you, you, you overhear her um, mention, mentioning a baby. Um, there's a baby in the picture. Picture. Uh, here, the the mother is cradling it with some scornful face. I guess that is baby Walter. Oh, I don't think we need to find. I can. Do I need to roll to have the co dots connect, or no? You, you can make. Okay. You can make. All right, cool. Loops there, sir. 
<laughs> Maybe. I don't. Walter. <laughs> Pineapple pen. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna be like, you know, I don't think we really need to find Baby Walter. Can, is there like a window that we can peek out and look down on the porch? <clears throat> I guess you can't look down on the porch. There's a roof Not on it. Never mind. Here. Yeah, it was a portico. Yeah. Okay. Um. What do you mean we don't have to find Baby Walter? Is this like a Baby Walter was us the whole time, or? Does Craig say this? Baby Walter was yeah, the yeah. you made all. That that's yeah. what I was reaching for. <laughs> John, I think I would have already started going upstairs. So okay. I think I would have been up here, up there since. Asara, sorry, sorry, Santa. Um, Asara, as yep. as the skeleton pivoted up and out of this chest, and you were like yoink, and grabbed the letter and were reading it. Before the chest clunked shut um, with the missing wedge, um, you did spot things inside the chest. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna finish looking into that. Mm -hmm. Um, but yes, okay, you do that. And you find three very well made black leather bound blank books. Blank books. Ooh. Fancy stationery. Three scrolls covered with arcane looking runes and markings. A deed of property. Oh, it's our house now. Our house now, yeah. Which, yes, if you look at it properly, you do see is the house that you are in. It seems to be the way it's written. And then you find another one for a windmill. Mm -hmm. And then you find a signed will and testament. The windmill. Oh, shit referred to in the second deed, property deed, is situated in the mountains east of somewhere called Valaki. The will is signed by Gustav and Elizabeth Durst and bequeaths the house, the windmill, and all other family property to one Rosavalda and Thornbolt Durst in the event of their parents' deaths. All right, I'm gonna take all this mm -hmm. and I'm gonna crawl out of my evil cubby. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, this is a ghost house. Um, We need to find the children that are not dead, so. But the baby. The dead baby. And I'm gonna hand the letter to Zedekus. Okay. Um, but the children knew of the baby, they sent us in here. The baby can't be dead. The dead children? Vampires, I guess. I'm gonna probably... walk past him and look for the stairs and start going up. Yeah, I've probably been upstairs for like, ever since she started reading that letter. So I don't know what I found up there. Well, we do... Yeah, we do need to um, start. Let's have a look here. Hmm. Okay. So you make your way round the curl of those red marble stairs, and you feel this cool breeze coming down the stairs to greet you as you make your way higher into the house. And you're going up there, right? You're going up there alone, right? Not not waiting for the others. Well, I think we people started saying, let's go upstairs and then stay downstairs. And mm -hmm. I'm, to be honest, I assume they'll be up any second now anyway, so mm -hmm. I'm just gonna go up. Okay. You curl your way round up and let me bring you Oh onto the mind. next floor. Um, I'm not going to be able to do it, John, just so you know. Sorry? 
um, unless it's on the Twitch stream. I mean, unless it's on the Twitch stream, I won't be able to see it. Yeah, I'm, I'm moving you up there so you can see it. It's north of I where can't. you are now. Will it, be, will it appear on the screen? Oh, sorry, there you go. Okay. Yeah, that's a good point. Sorry, I have to move that screen, don't I? I'll zoom out a little bit. Actually, no, I, I just, I mean, yeah, you're the only one watching it on, on, that, on the stream, so I'll bring that in for you and everyone else watching there. So yeah, you make your way up the stairs um, and into this next floor up. As you come round the curve of the stairs, mm -hmm. you immediately notice something. Mm -hmm. You climb to the top of these red marble stairs. They don't go up, even though you knew, you know there's a there's an attic space. There were windows in the roof, but you don't see. Um, you don't you don't see the these marble stairs don't carry on up. So there must be another way up. But as you come round. The first thing that springs to your attention is how m much more sense of age there is up here. You come to a dusty balcony with a suit of black plate armor on that far wall you can see opposite the top of the stairs. Mm. It's draped in cobwebs. Until now, the house has been pristine, really, really nice, you know, well, well appointed, very, very good condition. But this floor is just covered in cobwebs and dust. And again, you see oil lamps on the walls, oak panels carved with scenes, woodland scenes up here, trees, falling leaves, tiny critters. As you step closer to the nearest one, though, you notice tiny corpses hanging from the trees and worms crawling up from the soil. And as you get to the top of the stairs, You hear a voice, a voice you've heard time and time again in visions, in churches and chapels, in silent moments of prayer. And it says, Vanta. This way. And to the south, here, mm -hmm. you see a shift, shift in the wall paneling, and a secret door opens. Oh, shit. And following Off I go. your queen's voice, of course. you step through, and it clicks behind you. Shit. The rest okay. of you are still on the second floor. Yes, yeah, so like I was heading up towards mm -hmm. the upstairs when I got given that letter, so. Yep. There must still be a baby. We'll, we'll check upstairs. Vanta went up there anyway. There are a ton of other missing children. I don't care a lick about a dead baby. Well, at least we have to go get Vanta. I'm going up the stairs, man. <laughs> cool. And I head up ahead. Yep. So you start to you know, climb up the stairs there. And, uh, yep. Are you flying up again, Crick? Yep, back up the... As you do, you fly up. And you see this this railing of this dusty banister approaching you as you fly up, and you see the suit of armor hove into view. Do you fly over onto the onto the veranda onto the sorry onto the landing? 
Yes. I don't think I would think of a reason why I wouldn't, so. Uh -huh. So yeah, you, with a flap, a whoosh, whoosh of your wings, you fly up onto that balcony. And you're looking at the armor in front of you as whoosh, the spell finishes once more. And your sight goes. And you find yourself in pitch blackness. Taking one step back, you feel the banister behind you and kind of keep that as a idea of where you are and what, what's going on. You hear the footsteps of your friends as they approach from below. So, you find yourselves up on the third floor. And, as I said, you see this dusty, cobweb-draped scene, starkly different to the rest of the house and everything that you've seen so far. Okay, everyone's in the right spot. Yeah, you found it. <laughs> Sorry. Up in the top corner there. Did you see which way Vanta went? Well, then I guess I can't see anything again. You see... And like, I, just like, I put my hand in front of his eyes to see like if there's any reaction at all. He doesn't seem to react in as you would expect. And he's... desperately trying mm. to... Yeah, you know, he's, he's like he's like holding onto the he's holding onto the banister um, there, trying to um, you know. Put my hand on it to kind of like guide them. Craig, once more, you feel a hand on your shoulder. Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna like kind of touch along it and like try to meet Zenicus's face. Mm-hmm. You do. You do. You feel it. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we get it. Yeah. And <laughs> Asara comes up. Asara comes up behind you and catches up with you. Um, what are y'all doing? He's been <laughs> he, Craig just like pouring at his at, at Zenicus's face. Uh, it's a bit, Vanta. Asara. Vanta cured him of this ailment before. We must find her. He's been blinded by some dark sorcery. What, what caused this sorcery? It's the opposite of that. <laughs> I'm gonna sigh and be like, Ugh, and then cast dancing lights. Okay. What do they look like? How does that work? Um, it's four um, torch size lights, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna have them appear as just uh, glowing orbs of like not any special kind of color light. I'm just gonna have them appear as regular colored light mm -hmm. um and it just for note because this could be useful i can combine the four lights into one vaguely humanoid glowing form <laughs> of medium size okay um <laughs> yep, yep. so and they each shed dim light in a 10 foot radius and the lights must be within um 20 feet of each other um it only lasts for like a minute and i don't know if they can move with me or not mm. the baby. yeah i think so um i think yeah i think they move with you i think you have control over them to an extent um but anyway you look around, and now with this light, you know, light moving, and the kind of shadows are moving as these lights bob and move around. Um, you can see doors to the north there, and again in that southwest corner um, near Krig, and this suit of armor, black, not wolf headed, like the ones bound below. And Krig, as you get your sight back and you can see with the light that Asara has uh, has created you think oh thank goodness and you step up off the banister you know step away from the banister and look at this armor in front of you as its arms creak yeah. and rattle 
and it draws its sword and faultingly steps towards you. We shall stop there. <laughs> oh, holy shit. <laughs> Yay! I know exactly why the Raven Queen took me into that little hole. It's because I only have 9 HP and wouldn't survive this fight. Good luck, guys. Have fun. <laughs> right. Thank well. you, everyone. Take care. Thank you, Thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thanks. Yeah, nice. <laughs> Alrighty. Goodbye, stream.